Part 2. Crimson Flower. Ethereal Moon. Beyond Escape. It is Imperial Year 1185. Half a decade has passed since Emperor Edelgard ascended the Imperial throne, yet the continent of Fodland still remains lost in a tempest of turmoil and bloodshed. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, King Dimitri has welcomed Archbishop Rhea and her knights, who were driven out of Garagmach to the kingdom capital. As they work to build a unified front, the war with the Empire rages on to the west. Meanwhile, Claude, leader of the Alliance, staves off Imperial intervention by strategically stirring up conflicts between Leicester Lords in an effort to feign neutrality. As events unfold, Edelgard and her Black Eagle Strike Force begin to take action in an attempt to break the war's current state of deadlock. You, how long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Oh, you are a complete and utter fool! Have you not changed one bit? Get on your feet. Right now, I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Regardless, the Imperial Army has taken over now. Um, are you feeling alright? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing and all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? The Imperial Army is there. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you, got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. Unbelievable. Five years ago to the day. If things had continued on as they were, today would have been the Millennium Festival. Halt! Who's there? It can't be. Professor? Is it really you? But I searched everywhere and never found a trace. My teacher. What have you been doing all this time? Where have you been? Joking? At a time like this? 
You do realize it's been five years since you disappeared. Do you have any idea how guilty I felt? How broken my heart was? I searched high and low after you vanished. Although there was no proof, I somehow knew you were alive. All this time, I led everyone as best I could and fought with all my heart. It's been a difficult path to walk alone. <sighs> Welcome back, my teacher. I'm so happy that you're safe. Five years. Such a short time, but it feels like an eternity ago. Do you still feel the way you did all those years ago? You said then that you would fight at my side no matter how many enemies we should amass. As for me, my resolve has not faltered. I'm determined as ever to see this through to the end. I will defeat the False Goddess. I will save this world from those creatures and give humanity its freedom back. So, my teacher, are you prepared to stand with me? I... I thank you. Truly. Now then, I assume you understand the situation at hand, yes? Another joke? Or... are you telling the truth? I suppose you must be. In that case, I'll tell you all that has transpired as you slumbered these past five years. And that is where we are now. The war is at a stalemate. Dimitri is the new king of Fargus. It's clear that his territory will continue to support the church. Meanwhile, Claude's leadership has thrown the Alliance into chaos. He maintains neutrality in their internal conflict. The situation has created a deadlock. We've been awaiting an opportunity for our squadron to return to the monastery. With you in the fray, I believe the state of the war will shift immediately. The Church, as well as the Kingdom and the Alliance. The time has come to eliminate them all. Rhea, Sedeth, the Knights, and the others are in prime condition. They've set up their base within the Kingdom capital. The Immaculate One and her family have yet to fight on the front lines. However, we must eventually face and defeat them. It would mean a great deal to have you with us when the time comes. Good. Well then, I believe it's time for a little reunion. The Black Eagle Strike Force never lost faith. They knew you were alive and have been awaiting your return. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. Well now, that face is certainly familiar. I am glad to see you alive and well, Professor. Professor! It's me, Bernie! Do you remember me? I can't believe you're here! I can't believe it! Is this a dream? Can we really be this lucky? This is not dreaming. Our Professor is with us again. Welcome to the back! I mean, welcome back! Our group isn't the same without you. I am overjoyed to see you again. It's been so long. Seeing you again fills my heart with hope. Great. Now everything will be easy. Um, that's great you're safe, Professor. I'm deeply, deeply moved. Quite the reunion, isn't it, Professor? Everyone's happy to see you. Come on, Edelgard. You must be happier than all of us combined. She took it really hard when you disappeared, Professor. Of course, we did our very best in your absence. And there was never a day that we doubted you would return to us. Edelgard has been leading us as Emperor. But after you disappeared, it became apparent that you were her anchor. It gives me regret to be admitting this, but... Our power is not enough. The only one who can be meeting Edelgard's expectations is you, Professor. Most impressive of all is your uncanny ability to bring a smile to everyone's face. 
In the years since you vanished, we have not lost anyone from our ranks. We all longed for your presence and your leadership, myself included. It seems fitting to view this as a new beginning for the Black Eagle Strike Force. We already have our target. Yes, we must eliminate the Alliance before moving on to fight the Kingdom and the Church. However, that doesn't necessarily mean we must occupy the entirety of the Alliance. House Regan stands against the Empire. Therefore, our target is Deirdre, the aquatic capital. We must cross the Aramid River, which separates the Empire and the Alliance. To do that, we must take the largest bridge across it. The Great Bridge of Murden. Murden connects the monastery and the Imperial capital to the east. It is the shortest route there. An Alliance stronghold has been built at the Great Bridge. We'll take that and then head north. At the same time, we must defeat the one who defends it, Judith von Daphne. If we can also take control of Daphne territory, it would be greatly beneficial to us. Prepare yourselves. The next battle will be a momentous one. Join me, my friends, as we begin our journey to bring peace and solace to this war-ravaged world. Singing is nice, isn't it? The only thing is, I'd prefer to do it without an audience. They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> As expected. I passed? Well done, me.
have success. That was a breeze. I hope they... Hey, how about a favor? I need a favor. Allow me to brief you on the details of our situation. The Empire firmly controls the western portion of Fargus. However, the central and eastern regions continue to put up heavy resistance. The strongholds in these regions are Aryan Road, the fortress city, and Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. We cannot control Fargus until we have taken both of these cities. As for the Alliance, Houses Gloucester and Ordelia seem predisposed to capitulate to us. However, due to interference from Houses Regan and Goneril, we have yet to secure their cooperation. Claude obviously hopes to keep the Alliance whole through diplomacy. But because we have had to focus our efforts against the Church until now, our forces have yet to meet his. We have only recently begun to take the fight to Alliance territory. I have a request for you.